and that's the federal 22 I pulled the uh, pulled the lid out with a pair of vice grips and uh, poured the powder out poured it in there oh that's not focused so uh, what I was going to show you is the inside of the case is clean how clean the inside of the case is Oh, once I get right there, for some reason it doesn't want to focus. Kind of odd. But, uh, you can see down in the bottom, if I can get it focused. Focusing on my hand, not the bottom. Not a lot of primer in the bottom, but it goes up the side. It goes up the side of the case. Do you see that? Do you see that shine that's down on the inside? Just like the shine on the outside. That's a bulk pack of Federal. Now the end of the, the bullet itself. That, that's marked where I pulled it out. Is uh, caved in. It's got a little... It says concave little back or a little boat. It's not a boat tail. So that seems to be right there. Seems to be the little seal groove that seals it up. Anyway, I thought it was interesting to tear one apart. Yeah, that's an old bucket there. That's what I got them in. I put them in, in a Remington bucket because they're they still up good, but it's full of federal. Yeah, pop it up. Like a little paint bucket. It's three pounds is what it says, but I filled it up with the federal. See how shiny they are? As far as outside clean, they can't be beat. Uh, if you see dust on it, that's just from me handling them. So... They're shinier than CCI mini mags. They're shinier than uh, any of your other bulk, part, bulk packs. Uh, Remington has a lot of filings on them on the outside. There's that powder again. But the case was only half full of powder. Thought that was kind of neat. So there's a video about nothing. I thought you might be interested in it. My video about nothing. So I'm going to take this out there and fire it. Just because. They put it in my pistol. Just to hear it pop, see how loud it is, just the primer. So that's all for this video.